Hey guys, it is Nick here for the Walking Dead What If Topic video for today, and today we got an interesting one. One that could have definitely been a major character development for one of the people in Walking Dead, or meant the complete destruction of Rick's group back in Season 2. What if Shane didn't kill Otis? Now you guys are probably like, Oh, well then they would just die too, or Shane would just find another reason to kill Rick. Well, those are obvious. But we're going to go in depth and analyze this the best we can with two good scenarios. One, they both die, and Carl dies without the treatment. The group is still looking for Sophia, and never find her in the barn. And if they do, Shane isn't the one to bust it open. Basically, and the group, with Carl dead, Rick is on a warpath in season two. And this would have to be further coached down by Lori, because she would be just as upset. And because of Carl's death, she might put the baby down. Because let's think about this for a second. If you guys remember it in the original story, Lori was ready to basically kill off Judith before she could die in a world full of zombies and stuff, considering what has already happened to Carl. Carl turned out okay until he died in season 8, but still, uh, he lived longer than Lori thought he would, I'm sure. Anyway, with Carl dead and no Shane or Otis to come back... She would honestly sacrifice Judith. And if Rick found out, I don't think he would be with Lori anymore. And if he was, he would be in a dark world for a long time. It would take everything for Lori to try and calm him down. But honestly, I think they would still stay there. I do think that Dale would still die to the zombie. So besides Shane and Carl being dead, nothing would really divulge from the original story, but trouble would brew. The herd that would be coming to the farm would almost... Here's what I'm thinking. On one hand, it could kill off the entire group without, like... I mean, without Carl and being there, and Shane was already dead, so... They could possibly live on? And live on to Negan and everything, but I feel like without Carl, would Rick even have the strength to go on at that point in the story? It could most likely get him and the group killed. It would make him more reckless if Carl was killed before Lori. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm sure Rick loved Lori, but... You know, a young little kid dying like that, it would destroy him. So, yeah, I definitely think that as much as I want to believe that they would survive up to Negan, I don't think that they would. But that's just scenario one. Scenario two. Shane and Otis both make it back somehow. And because of Shane not killing him, I don't think that he would shave his head because that turned Shane down a dark path. And that was the start of him wanting to get rid of Rick and show that he was better off to be with Lori and protect the group. So he would still be short-haired. And honestly, I feel like this change would keep Shane and Rick both brothers. I don't think... I think Shane would hook up with Andrea, and I don't think that he would really want to kill Rick or do anything like that. So, basically, with Rick and Shane completely working together, the group would be even more unstoppable. And I think that my this story would honestly, with Shane there, I feel like the story would basically be like, why, what if Rick killed Shane? Or, what if Rick never killed Shane? And the governor and Negan would be completely... Well, by the time we get to Negan, 
I feel like Shane would still die regardless. But with Rick and Shane basically never at each other's throats, Daryl's still being a handy helper of the group. But if Merle's there, um, he could still die. But he, like I said, it could turn out just like my what if Rick never killed Shane. Watch those parts. If Shane and Merle are the same, both of them died in Negan. But yeah, guys, that is where we end things for this episode. What do you guys think? What do you guys think could have happened had Shane not killed Otis? You think that he could have turned out all right with Rick in the end? Or do you think that they both would have died and the story could have gone down a way darker turn? Hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, episode here. Because I definitely think that it was a great look into Shane's character development. Or just what could have happened to Rick. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Comment what ifs in the comment section. And I will see you guys next time.